Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Round of 16 match. We've got Rock with Dwarves versus Zahu with Orcs. Looks like these are basically the default colours, so let's leave them on red and blue. That's better than their actual colours. <laughs> We've got Dwarves with a Death Roll with Sneaky Kit, which is pretty hilarious, isn't it? And uh, a bunch of Guard and some Mighty Blow and what have you. 13 players by the looks of it. Yeah, then somebody hiding behind the roller. There we go. And the dwarves and the orcs even. I've also got a bunch of guard and mighty blow defensive there. Defensive blitzer. Not as good as a defensive big one, right? Because he's strength three, so he's at least you can like maybe like one dice him or something. Whereas the strength fours are really hard to deal with. With defensive. We've got a movement seven, add two plus thrower. Which is pretty decent, right? He's still letting you have four blitzers. But the thing is, movement eight is better than movement seven. So even though you can kind of make throwers okay now, you're still better off just that being a blitzer and being movement eight, isn't it? Like movement eight is, you know, kind of significantly better than movement seven. So, yeah, interesting. Super interesting. There was also an interesting rant before then, which you've missed on YouTube, but it was completely, uh, you know, I was completely correct. That's all you need to know. I was, I was correct. <laughs> Jimmy is always right. That's the, uh, that's the big, that's the big takeaway from everything. No sneaky get dirty player on the uh, orc team, but of course the roller is sneaky get DP plus two. DP plus two. Are you insane? Is that? <laughs> yeah, thank you, McCappy Face. Thank you. <laughs> Correct. This is a pretty nice old team, isn't it? I didn't catch the TVs of the teams, but um I did not I did not pay McCappy Face to say that I was correct. <laughs> that was offered up from his own free will. Yeah, it's, it's it's so I don't know. It's just so tiresome, you know, because none of it really matters. So I, so that's why people don't mind everything being like chipped away and that. And then, and then it's only like loons who say anything, because normal people are like, oh, it's not worth being called a loon. And then all the fucking corporations, which are all fucking terrible anyway, right? All get to be like, oh, look how good we are. Ugh. Ugh, it's so lame. It's so lame. Errata, errata. Thanks, Krill. There you go, look. Krill agrees. My copy face says I'm right. There you go. I'll find it, Christopher B. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll find it. If you've made it, I'll find it. I don't know how, but I'll find it. I mean, I know it was in January, right? It was like January the 11th or something. So, I'll be able to find it. Yeah, January 9th, 10th, something like that. 8th, 9th, 10th. A few days before I went to... Uh, it was a few days before I went to uh, wherever the fuck I went, France. Oh, Le Double Skulls. Not a 3D because of the diff, the the other guy. See, now, they, you used to say defensive guard, right? But it's not. Now defensive is a skill. You can't even say defensive guard. But the defensive assist from guard stopped it being. He, what he should have done was, if he'd done this block first, right, then he could have 3D'd. He could have got the POW. 
I couldn't have followed though. So he could have, uh, he, but he could have done that hit first, and then like maybe blitz this guy or something. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't too easy making all three Ds, was it? Orange dice, yeah. A lot of the dice are rubbish. I like the pink dice with the black um, kind of inlay. I don't know what I don't know what the word is. They they seem pretty readable. Um, and of course, it's pink, and that has to be good, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven. So pretty safe, isn't it? It doesn't need a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's pretty true, isn't it? Because kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of true. No matter what, no matter what you like, that's pretty much true, isn't it? <laughs> the spiky card. No, I pink. Honestly, the pink and black ones are the best. 100%. 100%. I bought some other ones that I thought, you know, could like maybe match the kits that I could use of different kits. But obviously now I'm only ever going to be red and blue anyway. So, bleh. Bleh. Punchy, punchy. you got to punch with your... Punch. Ooh. Should not have moved first, right? If this, <laughs> he could have just hit. He literally could have just hit him. That that he could have pushed him there and then hit him, and he moved him forward one, didn't he? Must have got a quick snap. I don't know. Gets the ball up. I would have moved this guy out like one or two, and then moved this guy out to here or here to just you know. They're not really going to go for you, but I'd still want to stop it. Oh my god! Look at that dirty player. Instant Kaz. A dirty play, uh, guard getting two assists. As it happened, he only needed he only needed the two, or he only needed one actually. Didn't he? Well, it's interesting that though, isn't it? The uh, like this is the thing, right? Like you just without without that happening, you wouldn't like without guard affecting it, you would never even look at that foul. That's the thing, right? I think this is why. It took people by surprise, the guard affecting fouls. Because if you just play Blood Bowl in, you know, without guard affecting fouls, you don't look at this as a potential foul. So you're just not looking for the plays that are the right plays, right? When it doesn't when when guard doesn't affect it. Nice little chain back for another mighty blow hit. Or a, Is it a mighty blow hit? Or is it a uh, Yeah, it is. So he's still going to dirty play a foul. He's still going to just roll a foul. I guess he's just going to roll a foul every turn, eh? Sneaky get with DP plus two is uh, is pretty strong. The problem is it's just not a very good player, is it? The problem is it's just not a very good player. But you're just unlucky if you get sent off here. Eh? You've, you've, you've probably got a foul in. You probably just literally have to foul him. Problem is that that stops you dodging this guy. Maybe you just dodge this guy first. And then if it works, then you make the foul. And if it fails, no foul. It's only a, it's only a rookie biggin anyway, right? It's not that good a foul to, to foul him. So maybe just try the... Ooh, shouldn't, wouldn't have stood him up. Actually, a lack of mighty blow on the Orcs, isn't there? Three mighty blow players. He's not in contact with Mighty Blow. So maybe not so bad standing him up. Oh god. Oh god. So he's putting in max assists. Not what I would have done because now that's giving up uh, a Mighty Blow hit, isn't it? Hooah! <laughs> Kaz! <laughs> Instant Kaz. Thanks to the thanks to the plus two turns it from a uh, KO to a Kaz. Mm, that's interesting, isn't it? Because 
super interesting. Because I really hate giving up the extra hit here. Because this was just going to get hit with, with Mighty Blow right now. So he's giving an act, actively giving up a Mighty Blow hit for that foul. And he's trying to do that dodge out anyway. Oh, oh, I don't like that. But, um, you know, kind of paid off, right? He got a cast. Dwarves need harmony. We'll see. I mean, it's kind of, that really hurt them. This this cars, and the one that they've got back doesn't make up for it really. Yeah, both thirteen players, but more like twelve for the um, for the dwarves, right? Because one will be gone. Mm, that was a bit, uh, I guess he just thought he'd stand firm, so he didn't want to 3D with the other big one. Plus, it gives you mighty blow, doesn't it? Big one. He could, uh, he could blockless block for then another push into a mighty blow hit. Or he, you know, he could just block out. And I'm, I'm probably going to blitz this Troll Slayer, right? What you could do is, uh, if this guy who's just moved, he could have blitzed with him and pushed him and then pushed him and pushed him and then hit him a uh, follow pit with Mighty Blow. It's pretty good, isn't it? I guess this guy can blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Problem is then he's kind of exposed to getting blitzed himself, isn't he? But that's a pretty nice blitz. 2D him, power him, push it. Oh, he's got stand firm. Disregard. Disregard. They've both got stand firm. Does he have Juggernaut? I thought this skill was Juggernaut, you see. that That's what it was, honestly. Shut up. Shut up, see, bros. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but if he had Juggernaut, it would work on both, right? Because it's bugged on Blood Bowl 3. So if he did have Juggernaut, he could hit the stand firm Slayer chain it into this stand firm guy and then this guy couldn't use stand firm either which is which is incorrect and then he'd get that so there you go an interesting little uh thing for you it's because he didn't stand firm last turn wasn't it and that's the thing if they'd stood firm last turn movies i would have realized please do see bros tell me how to play blood ball you know, eventually I'll learn how to play, and then these casts might get better. <laughs> like, these are the first ones back after quite a hiatus. It's, and in fairness, it's really fucking hard to see what all the skills are and who has what in Blood Bowl 3. It's not helping matters, is it? Let's be honest. It's just swathe of, like, white and red. It's like, what the f... I mean, what is everything? It's just an assault on your fucking eyeballs, isn't it? I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I just don't want to fucking look at this. Do not want... to look at this. Uh... Oh, that means that the, the mod must not work anymore. Or I've deleted it. No, I, that's so weird. It worked on that before. Sure. Oh, well. It's because they're all so similar, you know? Like, that's the problem. The problem is... Because they're all kind of like see-through. Like the see-throughness is kind of all right, right? You know, like the this kind of vague transparency. It's kind of a cool idea, right? So they don't clutter too much and you still see what's happening behind them. That's kind of a decent concept. The problem is, when they're all like that, so they're all like kind of transparent, they're all kind of like pink, right? They're all kind of like pink. Like it's good that they're not pure white anymore, but they're all just like 
pink and red and transparent and everything's like just all the fucking same and it's just a, like it's just a massive it's just a massive mess isn't it like this is it's just way too much work to distinguish the different skills whereas at least like I'm not saying the Blood Bowl 2 skills were great or anything but at least they were like distinct these are not distinct at all sure they are if you zoom in and look and you're like, aha, right, okay, I clearly stand for my blog. Right, I know what they all are now. But just when you see all this, they're just, they're just all a big, horrible mess. Hello, Albatron. Is your game is your game after this one, is it? Is that, is that, is that correct? Or, we, or was it earlier? It was earlier, wasn't it? Was it earlier? Benbo Baggins, yes, I remember it. Okay. I remember, I remember exactly every every detail of the match. Just ask, just ask Seabro that I paid attention to every turn of his match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I should maybe change it back down, San Saika. But yeah, you know, we all we all did that, right? When when the ad incentives came in, we all um, we all maxed commercials because. You'd be an idiot not to. And then, uh, now, I guess it's a bit silly. Oh, I hate this foul. Hate this foul. Oh, my goodness. What a crap foul. It's literally a two-assist foul, and he could have assisted here with two assists. Except this is a fucking block guard, mighty blow, stand firm, big un. And this is a fucking lineman. A skillless lineman. What the fuck? How on earth do you foul that one instead of that one? Oh, oh man. That's brutal, isn't it? That was such a bad foul. I mean, good that he got a Kaz, but that was definitely the wrong player. You can argue some kind of positional element, but who gives a fuck about positional element when there's a fucking... This fucking big and this big and off the pitch for the rest of the match is a it's is just you know it's just better. Anyway, plus, this guy's getting hit anyway on mighty blows. Uh, it has to be an incorrect foul. Incorrect. Hello, Pedro. Because it was only two. Like, okay, he's got this guard assist, but he's got a guard assist defensive, right? So. There's only a two assist foul. That's really that was such a bad foul. Well, such a bad choice of target. Obviously it was good to foul. You have to foul every turn pretty much. <laughs> With a sneaky git roller. <laughs> also, this is kind of worse position because now like the roller gets like stuck on this big one, right? Which is like the worst player to be stuck on because you're only two dicing him instead of three dicing him. And, uh, you know, you're based, no one can block him free for you to go and foul somebody. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Pedro, yeah. It's rough, isn't it? I mean, they're trying. They, they, the, the funny thing is, they're trying to make it better, but. It's still got such a long way to go. This is this is a chalice match, yep. Yep. <laughs> they're not Elliot, no, they're not. Well no, I think they have. Honestly, I think this um Hello Elliot, by the way. I think this this kind of transparency was the was this laddered later? And the, these icons have been like um, these. I'm sure these icons have been like softened a bit, right, from the first ones. I do feel like they've done something with the icons. But yeah, they're easier to click on. I mean, that's the biggest one. I mean, I've conquered that with the uh, without me suggestion of an auto clicker. That's the absolute biggest quality of life upgrade you can possibly have. Is you press a button on your mouse and it clicks seven times. <laughs> what the? How is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> How is that a thing? It simulates me frantically clicking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, 
Oh dear. Oh, oh man. I, honestly, Sans Liker, I don't care at all about the Champions League. I don't care at all about the Champions League. What I do care about is the Super League. I care about the Super League. And the Super League draw will be happening very soon. We've got 10 people have uh, have accepted their tickets and stuff and are in the league. 10 teams are in the league already. There's only two people left. Olivia Dulac and uh, Inarian. So that's pretty good. Oh, he hasn't fouled or blitzed with a roller. He used his blitz to move the roller and not foul. Ooh. Oh, that must feel terrible, mustn't it? Did he not know that he could have gone round here and fouled this guy with three assists? Oh, no, only two. Doesn't have guard. Fucking nerd. <laughs> and now he's moved him back next to this guy, which is where he would have been last turn anyway. I don't want to keep haranguing the poor guy for such a terrible play, but it was such a terrible play. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not putting two on here and blocking him? Okay. I think you've got to try and beat off the guys that are around you, right? You know, if you find yourself facing down a mighty blow big and you've just got to try and beat him off. If you don't try and beat him off, then he's just going to hit you back. But I guess he's dodged away, which is okay. Dimmy! Dimmy! You could you could come and talk about it if you wanted, Dimmy. I mean, <laughs> I say bad foul. It was a it was just a bad choice of target. It was a bad target. Do not reroll that. Oh my god. Okay. It's turn three. He rerolls a last action one dice block. Yikes. That was not a good play. Not a good play, Rocky. Not a good play. Nah, Rubinho, there was no, fun, no funny business. It was just the people who did. The top nine from the season two finals, myself, and then two top ranked NAF players. So it was pretty fair, I thought. A pretty fair way of doing it. I mean, someone's going to be a jobber, right? That's the thing. Somebody is going to be a jobber. Like, quite easily, I could just go in there and, like, lose five games. Or Andy could. Or Art could. So it'll be interesting, won't it? How many orcs? He's cast two orcs. Two skillless orcs. He's managed to find the only skillless players on this orc team where the average player has four skills. <laughs> now, nah, it looks like they've got four skills. It's because they've got injuries as well, right? He's got two injuries. He's got an injury. He's got two injuries. So they actually look more skilled than they are just because they've got so many injuries that, that, are on the, that, are on the, that are on the skill bar. Yeah. How old Dan Dastardly. And yeah, it's funny, like, somebody is just going to be the job, isn't it? Like, it's it's kind of crazy. Like, you know, it's inevitable, isn't it? If you you could have a league where uh, K-Fog was the, was the job. It's possible. Whew. This is a bit spicy. He's still got the bits of free, I guess, and the other one's got dodge. Woof! <laughs> Routine makes champions. Uh, I guess there's, I guess there's an element of truth to that. Depends what the routine is, doesn't it? <laughs> if your routine is a, a shit routine, it's not good. 
But yeah, discipline, etc. Yeah. Oh my god, he makes the big and dodge. What a disgraceful looker nerd. Outrageous. Especially in gymnastics. Way. Oh, it's outrageous. Flashbacks of Malmere when he made every bloody 4 plus dodge he attempted with the big guns. Really hard to beat Orcs when they're making all the 4 plus dodges, honestly. Outrageous. And again, he's, he's managed to, you know, get the roller stranded. At least he's got a 3D. But very bleh. Yeah, looks like it, doesn't it? Not a, not a bad shot, really, seeing as it's fucking cast two players in three turns. You can understand him going for it. It's not that early now, that's true. <laughs> that's true, it's not that early. <laughs> Turn five is not that early. I, I, I didn't, Elliot. Uh, my qualifier um, was against the Merca. And the first time we scheduled, he didn't turn up. And the second time, he was half an hour late. And I just said, oh, fuck it, I don't want to play. And then, so I got an admin loss. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, in the end, I was happy to not have to play Blood Bowl, so... <laughs> it, all it all worked out for the best. <laughs> he qualified, and I didn't have to play Blood Bowl, so... <laughs> we both got what we wanted out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, and this is particularly bad. Oh my god, he's re rolled it. He's used his last. This is not the best play I've seen in my life. <laughs> he stood him up before blocking. He's not going to block, he's just going to foul. Three assist foul. Okay. Yeah, that's probably for the best, isn't it? Because you're just going to get scored on, so at least get your foul in. Yeah. Not the best ever play from Rock, to be honest. But at least he's got a roller and it looks nice. There we go. Only a KO. Diced. <laughs> yeah, see you, Pedro. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world to watch, is it? Fair enough. Um, yes, it's not immune, Rubinho, but you can't accuse something of being... You can't... You know, you can't... You can't assume something or claim something without proof. Everything else we have proof of, right? Every single other thing we have proof of. Nobody's saying, there's no way on earth that they didn't do it. They didn't do everything correctly, which is what he's saying. That everyone's saying. No one's saying that. Everyone's, everyone knows the RNG is fine. It's the Mercent Twister. Every, that's what everyone uses. It's totally fine. Did they maybe fuck something up somehow? Sure. But everything else that they fucked up, there is clear evidence that they fucked it up. And then this, there isn't. So it's a you know, what do you think's more likely? And honestly, this is genuinely, this is cyanide we're talking about. Cyanide messing up copy pasting in RNG or Artemis suffering from perception bias. Well Seeing as humans suffer from perception bias, <laughs> I'm betting, I'd be willing to bet many thousands of pounds that it's the human suffering from perception bias. But, you know, who knows? It, there's a chance, there's a chance that they've messed up copy-pasting the RNG that everybody else on Earth uses. There is a chance. That's fine, honestly, if he is right, fair enough. He could be right. But, I don't think he is. 
and I think a reasonable person would assume he's incorrect. He doubled, he jeerfied and double one there, by the way, the Orcs. Literally no reason to GFI. He just greeted a mighty blow hit. He could have blitzed with anybody else. He could have been totally safe. He could have hit another player with mighty blow without having a GFI. He could have hit without mighty blow without having a GFI. He could have, you know, done anything. He could have just tried to score. He could have, but he just threw in an extra GFI, double one it. And now all of a sudden, it's pretty easy. Not that easy to get two dice on the ball. <laughs> Guard goes in there. He blocks them, then you get one, two, three, four, then you get guard on there, then he blocks him. Or whatever, yeah, so you've got quite a lot. Oh, I hate moving this the long way around. Get this guy down first, right? Or put two people in, then chain him forward. One, two, three, four, GFI. Yeah, that would have been an idea. Put this guy there, and then this guy there, and then chain him forward to there. Would have been an idea. Oh, defensive! Well, I mean, this guy can still just go here, right? You can just go there. One, two, three, four. But yeah, I, w I might have done that wrong. <laughs> if I was playing, I might have done that wrong. But the, and this guy can go in there. And then this guy goes one, two, three, four, double GFR. But yeah, that's really good. That's really good that he might go here or here and forget about the defensive, because I would have done. Good shout from Dim Dimrath. Lord of the Dance. Yeah. Nope, he's done the right move. Clever rock. He spotted the defensive. He's as good as Dimmy G. And and the dwarf, who's pointlessly re-rolled two things, <laughs> now is justly punished with a dub skull. Glorious justice. <laughs> Oh, can you believe? See, this, this is much, much, much less likely to happen. You know, Artemis always rants and raves are like, nobody ever gets punished for bad play. They're really unlikely to get punished for bad play. That was so unlikely that they actually just get justly punished. And it was so, it's so good to see. So good to see that, uh, you know, that he was justly punished there. But yeah, you're much more likely to not get punished than you are punished. Much more likely. It's just, it's just honestly, I, art has wrong expectations as well as perception bias. So there you go. Ooh, will you roll a six on the uh, argue the call? No. I don't see where it was. It just got sent off. It doesn't have an argue the call roll. Oh, did he argue the call when he got sent off from... Did he get sent off from a foul and get the coach sent off? No, he stood there. Was it a KO regret? Why, 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 no, why is there no argue the call roll? I don't know. A UFOs are real. Nobody can argue that UFOs are real aren't real because UFOs are unidentified flying objects. Well, yeah, you know, I could throw a stick past somebody's window and they could not identify it and it's a UFO, isn't it? <laughs> Such a stupid thing to say that UFOs are, UFOs are uh, real or not. <laughs> they never show the argue dice. Brilliant. Well done, Cyanide. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Cyanide. <laughs> but I'm sure they got the I'm sure they got the RNG right. <laughs> but like it does make you wonder. Like I completely understand where art's coming from. Because it makes you wonder. Of course it does. They haven't got anything right in El nothing else is right in the game. You have to click for thirty seconds. You have to click for thirty seconds to stand a player up. So yeah, maybe they did copy and paste the RNG wrong. But why is it manifesting it? Like, why would it be wrong? Why would it man be manifesting in that art is unlucky? Like that's not, and his opponent is lucky. That's not how it would manifest, is it? So this is the thing. It would be like. 
there's too many double ones or whatever like the, the re-rolls don't work properly or there'd be there's too many sixes or something it wouldn't be my dice are bad every game and my opponent's dice are good every game <laughs> it's not how a, a broken rng would would uh, be broken but i could see something like re-rolls don't work sometimes or, or ever i mean but they do work don't they i mean re-rolls do work so I've seen rerolls work in a game before, so but I could see them not rerolling sometimes. Sure, why not? Seeing as players disappear, <laughs> seeing, seeing as players outright disappear from the pitch, <laughs> I'm sure Cyanide have got it in them to uh, to copy paste the RNG incorrectly. Oh wow, that's a brutal kick, isn't it? Backline kick. How very suspicious. <laughs> he's not even movement eight, is he? I mean, this is—he's not going to score now because he's—he's got no rerolls and he's too slow, and the ball's in the end zone. Yeah. So he's, whatever's happening, he's just basing for no reason on one side or the other, right? Because he's only blitzing one of these guys. So he just based his guy there. Guard stand firm and just based for no reason. Just please hit me next turn. Please. Please just punch me in the face. I mean, that's ultimately what he's, like, saying, right? With his complaints about the dice. Like, what, what are the other complaints that, like... I mean, that, that's, a, that's a one that, that you could say that they don't always re-roll. And that was one of the things in Blood Bowl 2, right? There was no animation of rolling the dice when you re-rolled winnings. And it was the same, right? When you re-rolled winnings and you got a different result, it showed the animation of a re-roll. But when you re-rolled it and got the same result, it didn't show the re-roll. Which just made you think that, well, is it not actually ro ro rolling sometimes and stuff? Do you know what I mean? Who knows? He's had said that, but that's just that's just him not understanding statistics, Rubinho. <laughs> that's just literally him not understanding randomness. So, yeah. <laughs> It's like, you know, if you've got a 2d6, a 7 is the most likely result, isn't it? Right? 6 times out of 36. But it only happens 6 times out of 36. The other 30 times, it's not happening. And it, that's basically how art looks at things. So of course, like most games are going to be skewed one way or the other. Of course they are. Of course they are. And especially with sneaky getting dirty player and stuff. course they are. <laughs> six out of thirty six, Dimmy. One in six time. Or if you book if you go like six, seven and eight, right, which are the most the most likely, give you a bit of leeway, that's still only sixteen out of thirty six, isn't it? There's still twenty out of thirty six. It's still more likely that something crazy happens. Do you know what I mean? On either end of them as well. I mean, every dice roll is critical. That's the nature of Blood Bowl. Every single dice roll is critical. Every dice can just make a fucking chasm stuff. And, like, of course it's going to happen. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just, of course it's going to happen. I mean, I, I, no, yeah, no, he wasn't, I, but then I guess the, 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 that you could prove that that was, that was fine, right? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> like, there, there was, like, there was, like, uh, there was dice logs in Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, yeah, seven, yeah, exactly, Tim. Yeah, yeah. And while it's quite likely to be a six, seven, or eight, they're the normal expected results, right? A six, seven, or an eight. That gives you a wide range. That gives you 16 out of 36. That, that's nearly 50%. It's going to be one of those three results, but it's still more likely to be a nine plus 
or a five or less. Either way, it's more likely to be crazy either way than it is to be average, isn't it? The, the funniest thing regarding art and RNG was he was moaning about how crazy his undead team look was. And then we got those stats that were okay. The stats were, were you know, weren't broken, but at least the, the stats weren't correct, but at least they weren't correct for both of us in the same way. And my dice were like so much worse than his. <laughs> uh, it was pretty funny. I mean, I had complained about my dice as well. Don't get me wrong. But it was just funny how much worse they were. Like, they're just literally so much. I, put, I posted it in my Discord. It's in my Discord in uh, in number one, wherever that is. You can see it. it just, it's just uh, it's just hilarious how much how much worse my stats are than, than arts. It's brilliant. It's actually hilarious how much worse they are. Yeah, so being like if there was if there was a proper, you know, dice online, nothing, nothing, zeros is over and he's not scoring his dwarves. It is turn seven, yeah. He shouldn't have even try to score. I think he's done the right thing not trying to score. He's got no reroll, he's got no chance. Just trying out bash the geezer. All right, geez. There was, right, but again, perception bias. It was just people being stupid. <laughs> mm, Savage tested it. Did a, did a practice game, threw like about 20 bombs and got intercepted, you know, three times or something. It's just because bombs you know, always have an interception chance. So when the one in six times happen, people are like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> because you know, if you throw a but if you throw a pass, people only have an interception chance what once every fucking twenty passes. So, <laughs> so one in a hundred and twenty passes get intercepted, and one in six bombs get intercepted. But yeah, everywhere there was always suspicion about bombs and intercepts. There really was. And the um, and the one in the other one as well, the one that I said, the uh, the reroll on the winnings, because you didn't there wasn't a uh, there wasn't an animation on it when it rerolled into a one. So I was like, well, is this is this is it actually a sixteen percent or is it a thirty percent or a fifty percent to be a one? You've just got no idea, right? Like because they could have messed it up. If if it just, like it could still be wrong if there was an animation, but if there was an animation, it would just feel better, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's the same with this. Like all these things where they have these ghost dice pop up and stuff, and you use rerolls and like, and not showing the argue the call and, and the like. All these things make you think. Well, what if you know something's going on? You know, with all these things, you know, when when you're losing track, when the game's like losing track of players and like they're running on the spot when they're in some a different square completely. Maybe that it's losing track of the dice and doing something like it's it's understandable to think maybe something's not right. Of course it is. Yeah, it did feel it did feel that way, but again, perception bias. That's literally the point of perception bias, is that it feels wrong but it isn't. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not going to call Art an idiot for saying the things he says, because it is entirely understandable to think, well, they've messed up everything else. Maybe they've messed this up. But I would for sure bet that they haven't messed it up. If I was a gambling man, and I am, I'd bet a lot more on Art just being a typical, a typical human being than a cyanide being grossly incompetent. Well, I'd still bet on them being grossly incompetent, but you know what I mean. <laughs> In this case. <laughs> he is. 
I like art. I mean, I've got nothing bad to say. Well, maybe there's a few bad things to say about art, but you know, generally nothing bad to say. Like he hasn't done himself any favors, has he? Do you know what I mean, like he's been, he's been a bit too outspoken and stuff at times, which is not uh, not done like me. You know, like I haven't done myself any favors, have I? But it's easier to dismiss your opinion if you're a bit of a twat, basically. And while I like being a bit of a twat and like people who are bits of twats. It's still better to not be, isn't it? Mm. The form twat. No, I'm still a twat. <laughs> Yes, winnings you would only ever reroll a three, right? And you wouldn't even reroll a three sometimes. So you're only ever rerolling a one or a two. But the point is, it didn't feel like it feel it felt like you rolled a one into a one more than one in six times. And the reason, well, one of the things, one of the reasons it felt like that was because you didn't see the animation when you, when it rerolled in the same result, which just made it seem dodgier, right? Makes you think, well, did it actually reroll it or not? At least if you rerolled like a two into a one, you would see the reroll animation thing. And you'd be like, aha, it worked. Which, you know, it, obviously you could see the animation it not work anyway, right? Like, <laughs> the animation really doesn't mean anything. It's just like a user experience kind of thing, isn't it? That's all it is. It really doesn't ma make any difference. But it, like, you know, it's like a dice, isn't it? It looks like a dice rolling and then it doesn't, you don't see the dice roll, roll so it just makes you feel worse. Yes, exactly. So you, but you, what I'm saying is you would never, ever, ever re-roll a four plus. I can, maybe you would, right, if you were desperate to get like a witch elf or something or a war dancer. You might re-roll a four hoping for a five, especially if it's like the last game of the season. So maybe you would re-roll a four or a five sometimes, but very, 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 very unlikely to re-roll a four or a five. But you could. You could conceivably re-roll a four or a five. But realistically, you would all you would never re-roll a four plus, and almost always re-roll a three plus, and a, th a three, and and you know always re-roll a one, and most of the time re-roll a two. Be ridiculous to re to not re-roll a two, really. Probably every time you'd re-roll a one or a two. But again, if it was something like you know get a get a bull centaur and don't risk the one, maybe you would. <laughs> Rolling around in wrong shit. Mm, it's funny, isn't it? Society is pretty interesting when you think about it. So this KO has stayed out, turned it into a Kaz. Nearly, because the best the dwarves can hope for is overtime. Given his reroll management, <laughs> my better on the orcs. <laughs> Because uh, there were there were some there were some terrible reroll decisions from Rock in the first half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What reroll management? <laughs> the J five school of reroll management. No offense, J five. Way very good, done dastardly. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of the world is worse than a lot of the other places in the world. Now this is a terrible LOS. By the way. He's got one, two, three. He's got three mighty blow players, and he's just deliberately not hitting with one of them. Deliberately not hitting with a mighty blow. I just don't get it, man. Instant reroll. <laughs> now this is you know this is maybe a fair one, right? Because it was the first action, and the balls, you know, he got the whole LOS and stuff. But like, flip me, guys. That was funny, but this just so that that's just pointlessly shit, isn't it? Not hitting with all your mighty blow guys. <laughs> oh dear! Well, now it's not really not reroll management now, is it? This is. <laughs> 
this is absolutely terrible look. However, if he uh, if he hadn't rerolled the first one, he'd be all right now. Very suspicious dice, aren't they? I knew the second one was going to be a dub skull after the first dub skull. I knew the second one was going to be another removal. <laughs> So he's used two rerolls, but got two KOs. It's not even that bad, is it? Not even that bad. He loves just basing this guy. I guess it's to, to stop him repositioning the defensive, eh? Another AV break. Pointless follow. But did it anyway. Flip me. Yeah, the, oh, the, there's the other thing that people say, isn't it? You know, the, the longer that you decide to choose which dice, the more likely you are to break AV and stuff, isn't it? All those kind of things. Like, humans are just terrible at, like, at, at like you know, things like this. <laughs> Stop him repositioning Mr. Throw. Yeah, that must be it. He's positioning where he likes with bloody two guys KO'd. I mean, lo incredibly lucky though for the Orcs that although he's lost all these players it's just all the unskilled ones he's got such good players but that's uh <laughs> are you are you maybe facing him uh, next round Fastel? yeah that was uh that was it was such a bad play I'm not being mean to uh rock but it was so bad yeah exactly dryer exactly yeah yeah i that that's a funny one as well isn't it i don't know how anyone what's funny as well is these same people who believe in this will like call you know other things like norse mythology and stuff and it's like well why is that <laughs> laughable <laughs> and mythology <laughs> but yours is right <laughs> and I don't know how you can believe anything these days with you know microwaves TV internet how can you how can you believe anything I'd like to believe it'd be great wouldn't it it'd be great but uh, I can't Yeah. Now that's this is a thing, right, Maccabi Face? This, this is actually a thing, right? The dice. The dice um is one of the things that could be wrong, right? So like, you know, when people you know, you always hear about people like, you know, they roll uh they roll dice in forty K and stuff and they, they keep up they throw away all the dice that roll ones and stuff. At least that like actually could do something because uh Chessex dice are terribly, terribly balanced. So you know, people will have good and bad dice in tabletop. They just absolutely... It's guaranteed that people will have good dice and bad dice because Chessex dice, which is what 99% of people use, are absolute shit because they just shave off, all, like, all of the... You know, the corners, like, the roundy corners is just because they fucking, you know, do that to save money. Like, you can... You can make... No, GW are Chessex dice. Every, pretty much every dice that you've ever seen is a Chessex dice. And, and so, so they just they shave off all the corners like that, the roundy corners, and obviously the holes for the numbers. They do they do that to to save money, right? You, would you rather make ten dice or fifteen dice? So, so and they're not balanced well at all, and they're they're all absolutely terribly terribly made, and roll wildly different to what they should do. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, on tabletop, things like that, you know, like uh, superstitious dice and stuff or, or taking ones out of the pool is actually a valid thing to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously people can totally cheat by doing things like that, but then, you know, you can always use your opponent's dice in a game of Blood Bowl, right? That's one of the things they say. There's only two dice. There's a lot more potential for it with Blood Bowl with only being two dice, right? In 40k, people could have a few, but if could have a few, 40k could have a few loaded dice, and people wouldn't notice, would they? If you like, you know, if you've got your, if you had, 
like you know, 30 dice. I think I've got 30 dice. I might have 40. I've got 30 or 40 d6 casino dice. I don't know if it's 30 or 40. It might be just 30. If you've got 30 dice, it's easy to have like two of them loaded, right? And people will never notice because you're chucking loads at once. And it's going to give you an edge. <laughs> no, they don't punch. No, no, no. You can just buy them. I'm not, I haven't got second hand casino dice. I just bought. I bought casino grade dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. And the ones, the, the, the second hand casino dice obviously aren't, aren't good. They were pretty expensive, but it was worth it. You know, I thought, well, this is just worth it. I, I don't want to get fucked by having bad dice. Okay, I could have, like, rolled a billion dice and then maybe had, like, a slight edge. But that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I didn't want to do that. I just wanted fair dice. And then, obviously, we can, both me and my opponent, especially in Blood Bowl, can use my fair dice. And then we've both got fair dice. I want fair dice. I just want to beat people because I'm better than them. <laughs> uh, most of the time. Whereas in... Uh, you know, I don't know what I was going, but let's see. You know, I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't want to cheat. Yeah, forty k orcs roll a million dice. Yeah, but I think even I like. I think I got thirty, so I could use casino dice and forty k. Because I was like, it's worth it. It's worth just. It's worth spending that little. Like when you think how much money you spend on your armies and how much time you spend painting them and how much time you spend traveling and you know, accommodation, everything, like, I thought, you know, storage, you spend so fucking much on 40k, that, like, you might as well spend a bit of money and have fucking casino dice, and have just proper dice that work, instead of, you know, if you don't, your dice are going to be wrong one way or the other, right? One way or the other, your dice are going to be wrong. If they're not casino dice. <laughs> casino dice covered in spit and cocaine, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that game of vision. Yeah, that was very funny, yeah. yeah. Oh, Mr. Throw, can he hit the ball? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, you can. Four. Fucking Tau. Yeah, no, I am happy. I am happier without for you. The cheating just did my head in, honestly. That's why I stopped. The cheating just pissed me off. So I gave up 40k. Hadn't played it for like seven years or something. Maybe even longer and then I got back into it quite heavily. With like fifth or sixth edition. Can't remember which edition it was. Maybe sixth edition I got back into it for a, for a short while. Pushy wasn't very good. But, uh, luckily, he gets the power. It's quite a strong little push, this, isn't it? The problem is, if he scores too quick, the uh, Orcs can score relatively quickly with a movement 7 throw. The main thing is time, Rubinho. The main thing is time and arguing about things. And the, the, the time... I mean, that, that when I quit was this fucking Scottish guy, and he... It just... Uh, it just did my head and it was despicable just the, the cheating so I was like right that's, that's, that's done but there's loads of other little things they, they, they have tape measures I mean in 40k you have tape measures so everybody you know goes hmm I'll move this guy four inches oh I've moved him four and a half inches <laughs> things like that right all the time constant constant got cheated in Warhammer because I killed somebody's general and he didn't roll for their army falling apart and you know in uh, what's it called undead and I, I know that's on me right both players have to track the game state and stuff but I hadn't played for seven years and he was a tournament regular there was actually two of them it was it was it was a doubles tournament there's two of them that are tournament regulars and they have a for they have a, an undead army and the general dies now I'm sorry but they are cheating by not remembering. You know, they didn't forget. They were cheating. I forgot because I hadn't played in seven years. But they uh, they were just cheating. 
Yeah, stuff like that, Avi face, all sorts of that kind of crap. You know, they they put the, they put the they measure their six inches, they put the ruler down, and then they take away the tape measure and then move the guy. Oh my god, that is the thing that I hate the most. Yeah, first of all, it was dodgy anyway, right? Because I, I, the, I, they basically cheated us anyway, because we killed the. Uh, this is what happened. We killed the necromancer from the first turn of the game, but because it was a doubles, they said that the fucking. Uh, the the demon was their general, right? They said that the demon was the general of the army, and the undead wasn't. And then so the fucking the fucking you know the the judges were like, oh yeah, well it's okay then. They d d had no fucking idea. The fucking idiot shithead judges. So then like, and I'm sure it wasn't en on any rosters or anything, right? So they just instantly cheated from the fucking get go. Because if the fucking undead general dies, the fucking undead army should be fucking falling apart. So they just instantly cheated from the very fucking get go, and then eventually we killed the, then eventually we killed the demon guy, and then they didn't roll, and uh, yeah, it was a fucking joke. Not that I'm still bitter and twisted about it, of course. I'm just very fucking bitter and twisted about it. <laughs> but I mean, I know that we really won that tournament, right? We finished second. And I know that we really won. So there you go, so, you know. And they know that they didn't, right? They know that they didn't win, and we knew, we know that we won, and they know that they didn't win. But, you know, everyone says that, like, oh, you're only cheating yourselves. No, you're cheating the, the people you're playing with. <laughs> we were cheated. They got a prize. We didn't. We were fully cheated. <laughs> not much uh, not much over for the orcs is there this is a pretty easy uh, anyway, what he should have done there right was okay <laughs> make a cast <laughs> what he should have done there was make an instant cast uh, he should definitely like stand these guys up right Say, super safe moves first and accept a dub skull right at this point, you've got one reroll left. You're only winning with overtime. You have to go total safe moves first. Get a bit of Artemis, uh, Artemis autopilot, right? And do everything right up here. Do that first. Make sure the ball's safe. And then do your other moves. Yeah, the RC plus don't sound bitter at all. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, I was just saying that as a, as a bit of a joke. But, uh, yeah, it's it's true. Like, it's... Like, I don't know, I guess I just remember every time I lose, right? Because I don't lose very often. <laughs> I remember the, you know, like, I remember, you know, I remember losing to Inarian in the Blood Bowl 1 beta because I, like, couldn't believe that there was somebody who could play Blood Bowl. <laughs> so I'm like, I've never forgotten that game because cause I played somebody who could play Blood Bowl. <laughs> and, uh, like, two of the finals that I lost in OFL, I remember. And things like that. I remember the losses a lot more than the wins. And then in the case of 40k, that's mostly come from people cheating. I did remember I did remember a game that I lost in 40k where I just tried to I just tried to charge a guy who was flying because I was just totally brain farted. <laughs> and I got all of my you know what are they called uh, you know the uh are they like they're like Female assassins of some variety, Imperial Guard. Uh, well, not Imperial Guard, like, you know, they're not Imperial Guard. Imperial, some kind of female assassins. What are they? They've got, like, power swords and stuff. Not not, not like proper assassins, not not Kalexis. Um, uh, you know, the ones, they're like... Or Calidus. No, not Calidus or Collectors. Not None of them. Or Vindicare or Eversaw. None of those. The little shit assassins. They've got like two power swords. Um, I don't know what they're fucking called. But I had them anyway. I had those assassins, right? And, and then that, <laughs> I had them. I guess I had them because I was like an Inquisitor. I, I guess I was... I guess just Inquisitors got these. For like the retinue. An Inquisitor's retinue. And then, so I had them in a Land Raider. <laughs> this mass, I had a massive unit of them in a Land Raider. <laughs> they all got out and charged a Demon Prince. <laughs> and he's like, I'm flying, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So I just ran them all out to get like, you know, fucking shot or something. So I, I remember losing that game because I was just so fucking stupid. But it's very rare, it's very rare that I've lost a game by being, you know, hyper fucking stupid. I've normally lost it due to, uh, due to people cheating mostly is how I lose games of 40k. I lost, I lost a game of 40k because I'd never played demons before. And I was like, oh my god, these are ridiculously overpowered. And I just had no idea, right? So, like, every single thing that was happening, it was the first time it had happened. And it was all so fucking powerful. I just couldn't believe it. It was ridiculous. And he shot... I, like, I had to spend, like, half of the time for the game reading the rules of, like, his... Of the army. I was like, oh my god, these are amazing. But then the next two times... I absolutely fucking shit on them. Like, it was amazing, because, like, that one game where I got shat on, I learned everything I needed to beat them and then stomped them the next two times I played them. But uh, I remember losing that game because, like, it was fucking wild. Like, I just had no answers for them because it was the first time I was seeing the questions. It was a bit like, uh, you know, Nick on his, on his Nuzlocke run. I was just seeing all these things and, like, what the hell? That's insane. <laughs> Nothing for the game. Uh, there was something said a while ago that Orcs didn't get enough. Get the Orcs didn't get far enough over, did they? Like last turn, they didn't. They just didn't get far enough over, so it was a really easy turn. I said about they. They should have been super safe, right? The the dwarves need to be super safe now because they've got this reroll. The Orcs aren't exerting any pressure. They still haven't. The dwarves just need to be mega mega safe. Play like art, hundred percent safest man in the world, and. Uh, and you know, don't re-roll any dub schools. There you go. <laughs> They're the worst army right now, yeah. <laughs> My brain shot itself, yeah. What are those assassins? I'm gonna Google it. Google it. I'm pretty sure it's the Inquisitor retinue. Here we are, Death Cult Assassins. That's what it is, Death Cult Assassins. Yep. There you go. <laughs> wasn't wasn't very. Uh, I thought they'd be called like you know something like the Sisters of Silence or whatever, but um, but it wasn't. They, they didn't have any kind of. They didn't have kind of any kind of fluffy name. It was just Death Cult Assassins. Yeah, they were they were actually pretty good Death Cult Assassins. The problem was is if like anyone shot them, they died, right? So I was like, but like looking at the rules, they were like, wow, these are these fucking mince things, right? They absolutely fucking mince things in combat. Um, you could even switch their swords out as well. You could switch their swords out for like mauls and stuff, so they were like strength six. So I think they all had like a power axe and a power maul, so they could either hit. AP, they were either AP, like, you know, run just swords, you didn't have to be swords. I'm sure they were, like, had power mauls on them or something. But anyway, that's less relevant than... The point is, if you shot at them, they fucking died. So, they were a bit shit. But then, if you put them in, if you put them in a land raider, <laughs> all of a sudden, they can't get shot at. Oh my god. And obviously, land raiders are pretty fucking good. Um... Like assaulting out of land raid is pretty good, isn't it? So it makes them fast because they're slow as fuck as well, right? Because they're, they're like they're just infantry, the death cult assassins. So they're infantry that got torn apart by shooting. So they were a pretty fucking terrible, terrible unit. But they were really cheap, right? Because they were a slow, they were a slow infantry unit that got minced by shooting. So like they were proper cheap for how good they were. And like once they got in combat, they just shredded everything. Including demon princes. If the demon prince wasn't flying. <laughs> but they would have killed the demon prince. Like I was so happy that I was gonna kill this guy's demon prince. I was like, oh my god, I was I was so pleased with myself that like he thinks he's got this fucking badass demon prince. And honestly they would have killed the demon prince in combat. But he was flying. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was fucking flying. Okay, everyone's safe on the ground now, apart from this one guy. So, uh, but yeah, not a lot of pressure. 
Yeah, that's without the doubt the worst the worst move I've made in 40k. 100%. 100% the worst move I've made in 40k. He can't even foul, right? Because he's, uh, he's down to 11, capped at 11. I mean, he could foul, but I think it's a... I think it's a negative EV move to foul. I guess the defensive guy you can maybe foul. Or the tackler, I don't know. I don't really like fouling here. Man, it was good poker face by him. Honestly, good poker face by him. Dimmy, Dimmy would not have uh, would not have beaten me that day. <laughs> Dimmy, would... <laughs> you know the whole gaping hole thing that he was talking about in tabletop. Dimmy would just be like beaming from ear to ear. <laughs> so this guy did well. Honestly, he gave no indication that I was the most stupid fucking guy on the planet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he should I, well I mean I'm pretty sure he shouldn't but I can understand somebody being tempted to he is going to get two chances to get the KOs back right so there's a good chance that he gets one, two, three, four. good chance to get three back these, they know, these three are injured so he's only got three KO'd so there's a good chance he gets all three back anyway right? there's a good chance you're up against ten he really just handed it off next to the end zone with one reroll left. <sighs> At least if you're going to hand it off, do it here so it can't go in the end zone so you can have another chance of picking it up. Now he's got, now he's got to do it next turn, right? So he's only got one chance at it. He can't do it this turn. He can't pick it up this turn, he just can't. Also, he should have moved the whole team to make a gigantic bobble box. <sighs> Look at dog. Nah, nowhere near as bad as that, Christopher B. You know, there's nowhere near as bad. He wouldn't even level. He's going to level him in overtime. <laughs> He's gonna level him in overtime. <laughs> that was really lucky. And only one KO back. So there's a good chance that this guy stays KO'd for the entire game after that early KO. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players for the Orcs. Maybe ten. And still eleven for the Dwarves. Apart from those two dub skulls, he's had pretty nice dice. But he hasn't had to roll that many dice. He hasn't had to make that many blocks or anything because the dwar the orcs just didn't really defend. These are just the default colours, aren't they? The uh, the orcs, like red and the uh, kind of cyan, isn't it, for the uh, dwarves? Funnily enough, cyan dwarves. But, um, I think red and blue looks better. What are you rolling the pickup? Three. That was outrageous. The, the handoff just staying next there. At least if he'd gone back and handed it off. So he had two more chances, right? But to do that where it could have gone in the end zone was really crazy. So if you're watching this back rock... And you do it again, which is already greedy to do it, but at least do it so that the target is stood here. So that if it scatters there, you can try another chance of picking it up the next turn. To get star player points on his other runner. Honestly, it might be because this guy was close. No, he wasn't close. I was going to say it could be to stop him levelling. So that you would you would go over the cap, right? That could have actually been a serious consideration, right? If you know if you if you're going to take yourself over the cap, <laughs> but it was just literally to try and you know try and spread SPPs onto this guy in case of an MVP or a second touchdown to get a skill on him. It was that was really greedy. That was that was really greedy. Yeah, death cult, death cult assassins. 
Oh, it's, it's because it's because you did the it's because you did the uh, you did remove right. You you removed your choice, didn't you, in combat? I think. I think you removed your choice in combat. If things had the same save, you just had you just removed what you wanted. So like, I had a bunch of Imperial Guardsmen, who they they took the Kaz for the for the Death Cult. And then the death. So, like, I had something like six death cult assassins, and then like nine guardsmen, something like that. And then, so then the guardsmen were the ones that were just ablative wounds for the six death cult. It was something like that, is what I did. Because obviously, six death cult is enough to kill squads anyway, right? You didn't need fifteen of them in a land raider. So it was just something like six death cult, and then like nine, nine, uh, Nine shitheads. I mean, they weren't guardsmen, whatever they were. Oh my god, the, the Black Orc stays out. There's a big un, sorry now. Now he's a big un. Stays out again. That's incredible. He's been killed for the entire game. And the dwarves win the toss. Mine got. 11 versus 9. Looking very good for the dwarves. Yeah, they, they were kind of old. Yeah, I mean, I, I played that. It must have been about 2012 or something. And I haven't played, as I say, about seven years. And I haven't played for 12 years since. So, yeah, it was a long time ago when I played with them. And I didn't use the proper models. I, I converted Beastmen. Because <laughs> I... Well, so there's two reasons why I did, right? First of all, I I liked... You know you know how you had Beastmen in... Uh, there were Beastmen models, right, in Imperial Guard once upon a time. And so... And then, obviously, Inquisitors have, like, you know, kind of funky personalized retinues don't they so i liked i liked the idea of um having the beast man and then use the rules for death cult assassins and also it's because i already had a beast man army that i didn't want anymore <laughs> so you know, i already had a bunch of beast men to convert <laughs> that was the, that was the main reasoning and it is eight normal turns yeah yeah so if you and you still yeah because even if you're the shit team if you win the toss you can still score a touchdown right and then take it to uh, and then take it to kicks like uh, like Galentio did to me in the play-ins he had about he had about like five players left but because he won the toss he got to bang it in in two now obviously he would have just won in the old rules so it's not as good as the old rules but still still winning the toss is still amazing because he still got to score and take it to uh, take it to kicks. Yeah, the not wanting to spend money was the real reason. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. And oh, do you know what I had for the, the for the retinue? For the retinue, I had the necrom. It was a was it a necromunda gang? Did they make a new plastic necromunda gang? I think they did, didn't they? Oh, no, maybe it was a chaos. Maybe, no, maybe it was a chaos. Was it chaos? Um... Oh, there was a box set, wasn't it? There? there was a forty k box set, and they had like chaos cultists, right? They had Chaos Cultists in one of the box sets. And I used those Chaos Cultists as my... Uh, I converted them, like, you know, I put fucking, you know, eagles and shit on them. So they weren't just Chaos. Because they were a bit chaosy, right? It, like, they made them look a bit inquisitory. That was the idea. I'm sure there was, like, a, a base box set. There's like Dark Angels, I think, and uh, Cultists. Vengeance box set, was that it? Ah, something like that, yeah. Dark Vengeance, yeah. That looks like it. I mean, they had that like shitty non-dreadnought thing. Oh, and I sold the bikes to somebody. Yeah, that's it. I got it, and I, I remember I sold the bikes. Sold the Terminators. <laughs> kept the... Kept the Marines, stuff like that. Yeah, the shitty Hellbrute, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Death Cult Assassin. Wait, is this 170 quid? What? Oh no, it's that's Swedish money. 
Swedish money. £14 for two of them. That's outrageous, isn't it? But also, I'm sure the Death Cult Assassins, like, you had your choice of power weapon, right? Because it said power weapon, that's it. It's They just had two power weapons. They weren't specified what they were. So you were able to take power mauls or power swords or power axes. So I had, like, power axes and power mauls and stuff, not just... Uh, not just power swords. So it was very powerful. It was a little bit beardy, you know. But the good thing is, obviously, so it was Wissywig as well, you see. By using the Beastmen, it was Wissywig because I was actually... Oh, my! you can't re-roll it. You cannot re-roll this. As horrible it is after getting Blist on, maybe you do re-roll it. But I think you can... Maybe you don't... He's got a defensive, so you're pretty fucked anyway. I think I think you don't roll it because you're pretty fucked anyway, right? The defensive is is uh, this guy just shouldn't have come in. This guy should have gone back to here, and he should have picked up the ball and failed to pick up. I guess. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like <laughs> everyone's saying the the orcs have been diced, and they kind of have. But holy shit, the uh, the dwarves have rolled a lot of dub skulls. <laughs> One of those games where, like, it's amazing how often, like, both sides feel diced in a game of Blood Bowl, isn't it? You've got to just pick it up and, like, get to here, maybe, here, something like this. That's pretty good. You're out of the way. Like, he, he's come on strong there, hasn't he? So you just rotate to here, and then he can't really get you. You can stand here or something. Here's the play. They are, yeah, nerf, yeah. Not, not, not the finest commentary in the world on the game, but, you know. Really good if you want to hear about some fucking old geezer's uh, Inquisitor army from years ago. Then it's top content. Yeah, I think I think you should be like here or here. Just get forward. Get forward and across. Get away from all the orcs. Tanks. Yeah, I'll do I'll do these every every season. <laughs> Premium streaming. Thanks. <laughs> Better than Power World, yeah. I mean, Power World is. A, I shouldn't have probably shouldn't have streamed it. I should have just watched a, watched you know a TV show or a movie and just done it in the done Power World in the background. It's, it's not. You know, if I was doing something interesting, like honestly, even the test that I did for Power World, like somebody might enjoy that. This was just sorting out a base, wasn't it? It's really bad. Sorting out your pals and your base is really unwatchable. But um. I enjoy doing my test for how long it takes for uh, to to plant everything, and amazing how little pals you need actually. Like, I I had like nine pals when I only need three. Because it's just like you know you put more down and you feel like oh I don't know how many like I just had no idea how many, how much it took. So I just thought I'll add more and it'll produce more, but it just doesn't. So it was good to learn that. Well, the dwarves haven't really bitten back, have they? Also, look, if he had gone up here, it just puts more onus on the orcs to do something, right? Because the orcs... This is here, the orcs are just like, mm, we'll stay around and fight. If he puts here, maybe the orcs will try and swing around more, right? To, to combat him a bit. And if they do swing around more, then you get to just tuck back in and then fight here in a more unfair um, situation. So, I really liked... I really liked swinging up, up here a bit. And at this point, now the doors have to finally play safe. Will they? Will they do it? <laughs> will they finally play super super safe? Well, he's stood up a player and he's taken a move action, so maybe. Nope, nope. He's still blocking before moving the ball. I don't know what the orc should be doing at this point. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know what the orc should be doing. Waiting to lose. Um, it's not an easy... It's not an easy uh, task, is it? I mean, Elliot would be saying it's not over. But I'd, I'd probably be at a loss as to 
how I would try and make it happen. Oh my god, another... This would have been a Kaz if he'd blocked with a Mighty Blow who was right there. Who was right there. The Mighty Blow was right there. <laughs> it's weird how he doesn't want to hit with Mighty Blow. Hit with Mighty Blow more, Rock. I guess he just goes in there and then... Oh, he's blitzing. Okay, at least you're blitzing with him then. I mean, you could have blitzed with the other one anyway. You could just blitz with this one. You got two. You could have blitzed with this one. This one that moved. <laughs> could have been this guy moving. Right? He's, he still had two mighty blows. He still just blitzed with one and didn't block with the other. It was shit. It was shit and wrong. Unequivocally, shit and wrong. And... Yeah, he's been playing for an hour and a half. And he, he did well to not forget the defensive when he blitzed the ball, which I would have forgotten. Also, he, because he spunked his rerolls, he rolled another dub skull. He's rolled four dub skulls, hasn't he? He might have even rolled five dub skulls. He's rolled a hell of a lot of dub skulls. But also, he's made a lot of removals. It is basically over, yeah. It's really hard to... Yeah, just start dodging and stuff and hoping you get lucky. Shit in a thong. Would not like to see a dwarf in a thong. But I guess I've seen Eddie Hall in a thong and it's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Despite him being six foot two, he still looks like a midget because he's so huge. Well, a dwarf. <laughs> oh! There we go. But only badly hurt. Sorry, Chirgan, sorry. <laughs> no, no, a, a dwarf. A dwarf, Seabros. You know, like the dwarves in Warhammer, right? Dwarves in the Warhammer world. Eddie Hall looks like a dwarf. Not because, not because he's tiny, he's six foot two. But he's just his proportions and stuff. He just looks like a dwarf, right? He's fucking thick as fuck. Have you not seen him? He's got like, he's 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 so unbelievably like thick, and yet he's got a six pack. He's like he's fucking human growth hormone incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy shit! Is. Honestly, like to have a to have the belly he's got, and it, but it's a six pack. It's insane. He can deadlift five hundred kilos. Yeah. However, shit at fighting, the same as a dwarf is. <laughs> okay, so. That's okay, isn't it, going back here? The problem is, of course, he's got to think about the dub skulls. And if he gets, uh, you know, by here he's kind of more, in a bit more danger, isn't he? Like maybe, maybe he wants to try and think about, go, you know, picking a side or trying to engineer a side switch next turn or something to just try and get away from the majority of the orcs because the last thing you want is to dub skull and then have orcs all over you. <laughs> can deadlift 50, see, bros? <laughs> we can all deadlift 50. Every every human on Earth, nearly, can deadlift 50 kilos. Another Kaz. Oh, my God. <laughs> the team's just wrecked. A weight of 30 kilos? What? A woman can't weigh 30 kilos, see bros. <laughs> what? Oh no, I was thinking the other way around. <laughs> so that's what, 66 pounds? 
That's still, that's like still basically four foot in the skeleton. 66 pounds is like, like that's less than five stone. That's really hard to weigh 30 kilos. <laughs> that's unbelievable. What? That's ve that's very 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 small. Very small. That's like like looking. I, I imagine that's what like proper skeleton looking motherfuckers look like. Holy shit! Seventy seven. That's like five and a half stone. I think my mum was less than six stone. She was like anorexic and five foot one. So she was really fucking skinny. She was either just less than seven stone or just less than six stone. It must be six stone, right? What's six stone? Sixty. And then, uh, four to 84 pounds. Which is then, is that right? I don't know. Missed the turnover. No, I don't think so. I don't think it was a turnover. Right, so now we can push up, right? Now we can push up because they've gone that way. So the problem is if you, to, you've got to go laterally to go first. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do think you do. I think you just get him up there first. Stand him up move him and then blitz and move everyone afterwards yeah no my 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 mum was five foot one i think she was less than six she was either just less than seven or just less than six and was like survived on uh <laughs> survived on <laughs> cigarettes and vodka <laughs> <laughs> Not the healthiest diet in the world. <laughs> mm. But like, it was proper anorexic and that, you know, like, thought she was fat. Despite seeing all of her bones and stuff. Kind of crazy. Have to move this guy up here. I'd have moved this guy around as well. But that's crazy. 30 kilos. Decalciumed. Ah. It's fucking mad. Forty-three. What's that? Eighty-six. Ninety-four. That, that's like more normal. That, that's like that's that's within the range of like a really fucking small girl, isn't it? <laughs> but thirty's like crazy tiny. <laughs> Even Hargrim could deadlift thirty kilos. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> We can sneak these th two through. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Is he blitzed yet? If he hasn't blitzed, he can blitz with him. And then he gets stuck on stand firm. So he probably should have blitzed with somebody else. Goes seven up to there. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six to there. He's got two players. Like, that's something, right? <laughs> oh, too much, too much sea bros, but it'll get easier for you. It'll get easier for you as time goes by. I started, I started lifting again yesterday, so 
hopefully I'll uh, stick at it and uh, do myself a dimmy and lose like how much have you lost dimmy? about 5 stone 4 or 5 was it is that right uh, Satterfield's like lost a whole new human hasn't he Satterfield has lost a lot oh wow he's rolled a 1 Satterfield has lost 47 kilos. <laughs> a whole human. One and a half of the Seabros woman. Four stone, there you go. Stone is 14 pounds. Uh, which is six kilos? Six and a bit kilos. I, I just I just said it's Seabros. I've forgotten. 47 kilos. So one and a half of that woman. <laughs> seven and a half stone. Almost seven and a half stone. Hmm. I think he could have been one back, right? Put the runner one back there. Put him one across. Runner one back. I mean nitpicking, right? But this is the kind of point where you need to be nitpicking because these are the points where it's like, you know, he's got such a, he's got clear plays, hasn't he? Like a lot of the times, if you've both got a full team and you know one square or another doesn't matter a whole lot but here it's where like he's got this play or that play and he's got very limited options so if you're just like that's when it becomes more critical to put it in the correct square so that you cut off an entire thing isn't it as it handy powered him so it was all right but uh yeah <laughs> yeah so if there's 17 stone you've got to then turn it into pounds first 17 times 14 that's already too hard for 90 percent of the population and then you've got to divide it by 2.2 haven't you also difficult <laughs> it's a lot easier to times it by 2.2 <laughs> oh we've got the air uh, disappearing So this guy is actually here. I'm just going to show him running though. The running man. <laughs> Fucking class. I guess he's in this square. Yep. <laughs> That's why he's there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and you can see from the tackle zones as well if you click on somebody else. You can see his tackle zones where he is. And then you can click on him and see his player card. He's not going to score. Which, you know, could cost him, right? He really wants to get the knockdown here so we can move a player here to control him. I guess he's not going to blitz him. So he's going to blitz one of these two, both got dodge, he's got mighty tackle, so he can hit either one. But this break tackle's a bit annoying, isn't it? And I don't know where he pushes him to. So because he's going to push him up, but then that just gave him a three plus out, right? He, he doesn't take the both down? What? 
one two three four five six seven eight so he should have taken the boat down there but now he just needs to do this hit with the blitzer yep gets it and because he gets that pow one two three four he gets to uh or even a push would have been okay he gets to go there and shore it up <sighs> needed some uh some rolls there. Maybe he should have blocked with the lineman so that he could have dodged this blitzer off, right? Edge three plus. That guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then maybe he's could like GFI to here or GFI there or something. With thrower could go one, two. Th this isn't tackle, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI to one D. Might be the player. Gives him a two turn, right? If he just gets a push. Gets him a two turn chance. Wonder if you should have put tackle on on that guy. I guess he's got break tackle, hasn't he? So is this guy uh, not moved? So he could two, just two D him straight away, and then he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could two D the ball. Maybe that's a lot of dice, though. Yeah, this one, yeah, so you'd have to go, you'd go back, so you'd go 4-4-3, four, four, but you get to use break tackle on one of them and dodge on one of them. Or you can go 4-3, both with dodge, and a double GFI for a 1. I think this has got to be better. I think this is better. He could have uh, knocked the dwarf to there and not followed, and then he could have gone one and a two plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. To make the hit on the ball a 2D from the thrower it was possible. But I, I don't think that was worth doing, really. Because he wants to do this without using a reroll, doesn't he? And the fact that he's got dodge on both of these, and it's just a 2 2, two pluses, good chance of getting there without using a reroll. And then it's a 3 plus to get the score. And then give him a 2 turn chance. Oh. Do not like that. Did he double one it? Oh. Why would why did the two fail? Oh, because it's a three. <laughs> the the I was thinking it was a three with break yeah, I was thinking it was a three because of break tackle, and then thinking, well that's a two because it's break tackle, but I'd already factored in the break tackle for a three. So yeah, that's uh, that's over, isn't it? So what was he going to do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. That has to be the worst. Has to be the worst way of doing it, what he was going to do. I think. Because he's rolling a lot of dice just for a 1D. Let's just serve him. Unless it dub skulls again, it isn't. Oh. 
three, four. Okay, so you can just go one across so he can't hit you. Hmm. But then I guess he could, he could, he could potentially. I think still think it's worth him not being able to hit you because he's got break tackle. Maybe it is or it isn't. I don't know if that's worth going one across or not. I don't know, Jeff. Tag him. I think it probably is better to just go one across, right? Because he could potentially uphill you, double power you, go to kicks. If you go one to the left, then he's got to go through on a three. And then a four, a four, a six, a five. And then he could try and surf you. But it's so much less likely that he gets... I don't know if it's so much less likely. It'd be interesting. I don't know which is which is better. It's one you'd have to think about, I guess. Looking at it like that, it didn't seem that hard, did it? <laughs> it didn't actually... It's have to uphill you, but it would only have to uphill you for a push to surf you. So, probably wasn't that hard. It is Dorf Supremacy. Dorf, 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 Dorf. Ten minutes before the uh, next game's meant to start. So, that's quite good timing. Not so good that it was overtime, <laughs> but good that it filled the time at least, I guess. Like it didn't run over yet. But there's only one turn, so it shouldn't run over. I guess there could be a riot. But yeah, I mean, absolutely. Dwarves absolutely kicked the shit out of the orcs, didn't they? But also rolled a million dub skulls. Kind of fun game. Oh, we don't see the, we don't see the <laughs> we don't see the summary. But uh commiserations Zahu, congratulations to Rock. The dwarves take the win. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.